Welcome back to Robin Reviews. Um, we're going a bit darker this time um, because we're going to have a, a glow-in-the-dark pop at the very end. So we're on Funko Pops today. Um, I debated what to do next for reviews, and so I thought I would go with uh, a great line that I love. Before I do that, though, I will say stay tuned for the end of the video because I will be announcing my first giveaway still to come uh so i won't mention anything more about that till the end so today we're gonna go with sonic the hedgehog line of funko pops i don't have all of them i have five right now um technically four but we're gonna talk about that technically in a little bit so i'm gonna start here with the Warhog. um i need to move this closer there we go the Warhog. um i don't know if anyone watching this if you're a funko collector you've ever seen something announced and you thought to yourself oh, i'm not too sure if i'll buy that um whether you don't want to pay shipping or whatnot but this is one of those things that i saw said that's really cool but um i'm not sure if i'll get a chance to get one and then uh on the way um that i was on the way here when i was moving uh, i was at a hot topic in uh, north dakota in grand forks and saw this so i picked it up um this is again a hot topic exclusive Really great job though. This one I haven't uh, taken out of the box. I do love the frosted tips. Um, everything about it, it's just it's just very fun. Uh, it's kind of menacing looking, but uh, it's still fun. And so I'll just look at the box. Um, you can see there in the box, it's, it's considered on the line with the 30th anniversary classic Sonic and Silver. And so there is the Warhog Pop. And so I'm actually going to leave him up there and I'm going to join him with the 2022 Target Con um, Flocked Knuckles. Um, now you can't see from further away, but the flocked aspect, you can't even really see there. It's really cool. I think it adds a really uh, nice dimension on it. Um, this one again was the one in the States. Um, I was going on vacation down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and was stopped in Virginia and uh we were we were leaving at like 8 a.m and so i uh, said well i want to stop and target right away uh, and they had a whole lot of these and I, I picked up one um again hasn't come out of the box but uh really great job um on the box there uh, i'm gonna put the warhog on top so that you get a good view of the box on both sides so i love his shoes um i don't admittedly i don't know too much about actual sonic the hedgehog um other than the games I uh, love his shoes. They almost look they have, like they have Lego on top, but I love the coloring. Um, again, this is from the this is from the same line, so the 30th anniversary Sonic and Silver. Um, the only thing I will say is, I mean, and I again not knowing a lot, um, I do wonder if maybe they should have made this pop seem a little bulkier. Um, if you compare what they look like, um, the Warhawk just seems a little more menacing, and uh, in the movie. Uh, in Sonic 2, which I actually really enjoy those movies, uh, I would say Knuckles uh, deserves to be a little bigger, but uh, that's just me. Uh, great pops, though. They're really uh, great additions to the line. Uh, so I have uh, four total boxes, five pops in total, but these two uh, have stayed in the box. And the next two um, I've taken out of the box, but they come from the same line. Uh, and so by that, I am talking about the Super Silver and the Super Tails. Um, these I kept out of box, and uh, why in a minute or two will be very obvious, but uh, I just love these pops. I've always wanted a Tails pop. Again, I don't know too much about Sonic the Hedgehog, but I've always been a Tails fan. Um, for the longest time, I was trying to win a Flocked Tails, a Target exclusive Flocked Tails from funko canada waffle house and uh was unsuccessful and so um won this one instead and uh, this one came from genie in toronto um and i love like you'd think if they're all yellow it's hard to tell them apart it's really not i mean it certainly helps when one of them has you know multiple tails uh and the other one uh it's just easy to tell as the hair up front and the shoes are different as well really great detail on these um, sidebar, it's it's amazing how divided some people can be on these stands. Um, these are the stands that they typically use for a Funko Pop that is uh, supposed to be looking like he's flying. 
like uh, I think of Vision uh, or a uh, a pop that's jumping, and I'm thinking there of Michael Jordan. Um, I have had one of these break once. Um, it did glue on rather easily, but I will say from a distance they do uh, they do do their job. When they're in the when they're in the box, it's not immediately easy to see that that there's something that's lifting it just looks like they're jumping leaping or just how, uh, levitating whatever it is um this the base is the funko pop the, whether the ones attached or the single ones i'm going to do a whole other review on those because i have a huge pet peeve about the ones that are made um where the peg on the base is too small for the hole on the foot and so they topple over anyway so i'm gonna do a whole other video on just the bases um but the reason i keep these two out of boxes is because um of this which i got from julia also although i think that was from funko canada marketplace great groups if you're a funko collector and you live in canada and even if you don't but just make sure if you're going to sell or buy there you may know that you're not from canada so people aren't expecting cheaper shipping um or sometimes you get the custom fees. Um, he did a really great job on him as well. I mean, you can see them all together. They, uh, they're displayed um, just by the TV in the man cave. And, uh, I mean, Sonic is classic. This is his uh, first appearance um, that came out. Uh, and that's the other reason that I wanted to do these in the dark is so that if I go like this and I shine the flashlight, which I reviewed in my third video, and I shine it on him, uh, you can still see him rather well. And so you can see that uh, the glow is, is, is quite awesome on Sonic. He's the only one of the five that glow. But um, actually in, in the man cave, I have a whole shelf of Funko Pops that glow. Uh, I do have a few that are in the box. Like I think of the, um, Sam, uh, I'm trying to think of which exclusive Thor I have from Infinity War. But anyway, that one, cause it's worth a little bit more, but I just think some of these pops, like I did the, the Neo one uh, in one of my first videos and this one, um, glow in the darks really need to be seen to really show uh, why I like that. And so, but I like to display these three together. Uh, and the other two are displayed together, but in just a slightly different spot. Um, if I was to say which one is my favorite, other than the obvious first appearance Sonic, I do have to probably go with Tails. Um, you know, uh, I just, I love the detail. I love, like, how detailed they were. Again, this is all stuff that they could, you know, paint on. But those are actually separate pieces, because you can feel the... Uh, the the break there and the lines and so really great job and um i also really enjoyed tails in the second sonic movie and so if you haven't seen it, you should check it out so those are the sonic the hedgehog pops um are there pops you would like to see out of this line um or ones you you know you've seen that you wish they do a different variant on um i need to one day add a shadow pop um and you know i'll be honest like at first when i saw some pops like i did the the trouble video and i think there's other ones coming out like barrel of monkeys it's a little weird when you see what's otherwise an inanimate object as a funko pop but to be honest with you i think if they made a funko pop of the one of the power rings or even the the ring of power from lord of the rings if they made one of those i'd probably get it and i think it would be a really cool display pieces especially if it glows and so that is the Sonic the Hedgehog Pops. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, and I'll mention it um, in the description as well, and in the TikTok page, which I've had, which again is Robin Reviews TT. That's uh, that's just giving people little previews on videos that I've done. Um, it's not big, but uh, I've decided once, if and when we get to 100 subscribers, um, I am going to send someone the Adam Smasher Pop from Black Adam. Um, you can't really tell there, but I love the design on his face, the detail there, and his whole outfit. And so again, it's it's not a it's not a huge pop, it's not a huge value. But uh, if we do get to 100 subscribers, what I'll do is I'll make a separate post asking anyone who's uh, subscribing at that point to comment with their with their name, and uh, I'll do a draw, and someone will get this pop. I'll do. Um, 
North America, mainland North America, I'll, uh, I'll cover shipping entirely. If uh, someone in Alaska or Hawaii or the rest of the world want it, I'll probably cover most of the shipping, but uh, I might have to ask for a bit just because it does get quite expensive. But if you live in mainland North America, I'd be happy to send one of my first 100 subscribers this uh, Adam Smasher Pop from Black Adam. So uh, we'll see if we get there. I've been blown away by the support so far, and I'm looking forward to going on this journey. So thanks again for watching, and have a good day.